Bureau. It's not every day that a new brand new casino opens up. I don't go to a lot of these events. I go to some of them. Believe it or not, the last grand opening of a casino I went to, gosh, this must be 15 years ago. It was the cannery on the Boulder Highway. But it's really cool because you go into the grand opening and they have a VIP event. They invite media and VIPs and, you know, usually six or seven hours before they open it up to the public. And I walk in there and it's like a dream come true for me. All the food is free and uh, there's beautiful women serving cocktails and it's it's pretty amazing. It's quite the experience. But I got to tell you something. I remember when Derek Stevens took over the D. And by the way, he's done a phenomenal job turning what was a absolute s-hole to use Donald Trump's terms in Fitzgerald's, and turned it into the D. Uh, and it is it, well, it was a dump. It was an absolute dump. You weren't here in Vegas yet when it was Fitzgerald's. No, I was not. You're right. It was an absolute dump. And he turned it into the D in what is an, an upscale. It, it's a fun atmosphere. It's a nice casino. I remember I was invited to one of. Uh, Derek Stevens' events, and one of the main hosts over there who's a great guy, I've known him for years, his name is Richard Wilk. He's one of uh, Derek Stevens' right-hand mans, and he's a, he's a very famous casino host here in town. He was the host for James Gandolfini, and I can name you a thousand celebrities that he's worked with uh, over the years. So Richard Wilk uh, gives me a call, and he says, Hey, I know you love Stone Temple Pilots. We're having Stone Temple Pilots do an exclusive show at the D um, along with Kid Rock, and we'd like to invite you. So I go to this event, and it was like a VIP three-day event where the, the climax of the events were you got to see Kid Rock. You got to see Kid Rock, and you got to see Stone Temple Pilots. But gourmet food, steakhouse dinners, these were the, for the VIP high rollers. The point I'm trying to make is, first of all, that was with Chester Bennington. I got a chance to meet Chester Bennington, the late Chester Bennington, who was the lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots at the time. I'll never forget it. And I have Derek Stevens and Richard Wilk and the people at the D to thank for that. Unbelievable experience. The point I'm trying to make is they know how to treat people, not just members of the media. They know how to treat their VIPs. Derek Stevens is a great businessman. He's done such a phenomenal job downtown. We have a new casino that's opening up tonight. The reason why we're talking about Derek Stevens and the D, new casino is called Circa. It is located downtown. You've probably driven by it. It's absolutely enormous. And you've seen commercials probably on TV yeah. as well because he's had, he's yeah. done a really good job of marketing his, his so I have So I have not been inside yet. I've seen advertisements. We're going to both check it out tonight. The sports book I hear is phenomenal. The pool is phenomenal. The food is phenomenal. Derek Stevens decided to go very, very big. Now, the, I, the first question that entered my mind was, why didn't he just purchase property on Las Vegas Boulevard? And I spoke to a couple people that have been working downtown for years last night, and they said, well, the money. Yeah, uh, too it expensive. Was, it, was, it was cheaper to, to get this space downtown. Now, this, I tell you, some of the casinos downtown, you might be thinking they're worried, oh, they're going to take away our business. I think it's the opposite. I think more people are going to go downtown because of this casino. And, I, and I'll tell you something, though, Golden Nugget's not going to be the biggest casino downtown no, anymore. It's going to be Circa. absolutely not. I mean, yeah. this, this place is a three-story sports book. It's got something called Stadium Swim. It's got six pools outside. And when it's cold outside, they're heated to 103 degrees with, with four massive televisions in front. I mean, it, it is the highest definition screen on the planet. There's something called Garage Mahal, which is just a massive, I don't even know how many, how many stories is it, Stein, the, the parking garage? I don't know what the parking garage is. It's a 777 rooms, though. Yeah, so, I mean, you're, there, a lot of parking will be down there. Derek Stevens is rebranding downtown, and he's and he's a Vegas guy. He, he's, he's a gambler at heart. He bets sports. You know, he always has big futures on, on whatever team. He, he, you always see him at night's games with his with his golden jacket on. I believe that this is going to be a resounding success. The name Circa is perfect because it's classic and it's, an, and it's a new era. Uh, also, if you're 20, like, it's 21 plus. There's not, you, you can't have kids in this casino, which is very unique for Las Vegas. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think that after this is extremely successful, he will eventually take over a property on the Strip. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a fun event tonight. I can't wait to see the casino. I know Stein has some more details he could yeah, share. Oh, no, I was just, you know, one thing I found interesting also uh, is that people that are staying at the uh, sister properties, like the Golden Gate and the D, they're actually going to get perks when visiting Circa. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. Such as um, early and free access to the pool amphitheater that you mentioned. Yep, and, and he's got, I think there's, because you know, there's that big long bar at the D. There's the one inside and the one outside. So now there's a mega bar there, same same concept, inside and outside. Brian, I want to ask you this. Yes. Last night, it, there was an article in the Las Vegas Review-Journal 
that Sheldon Adelson is, is trying, and the Sands Corp is they're looking to leave Las Vegas. They're looking to sell their property in Las Vegas, which is the Venetian, the Palazzo. I mean, it, it's a very the, the sand, Sands in Las Vegas are are well known, not just to those that live here, but those that travel here. People trust the brand, the Sands. What do you think about that, Brian? I mean, wh- how how do you feel about Sheldon Adelson, the richest man in Las Vegas, looking to sell all of his businesses here well, and, uh, and to move it to Macau? There's a reason for that, because his properties are not making money. He's lost a lot of money with his properties, especially recently. That's number one. Number two, you probably shouldn't donate $75 million to a political he's campaign. He's worth $37.5 billion. He, he's, I understand like, that, that. That's not a ton of money for Sheldon his Adelson. His properties have lost money. That's number one. Because of the pandemic and the lockdown personally, associated with the pandemic. Personally, leave. I don't care. I don't care if he's... I, I like the Palazzo. I like the Venetian. They're very beautiful properties, but they're tourist destinations. They're not yeah. local friendly. They, they brand. I mean, that the tour, the Venetian and the Palazzo are part of the Las Vegas Strip. When you think Las Vegas Strip, the Venetian is one of the places that you think. You think MGM. You think the Venetian. You may think the win. You, think, you, you probably think Caesars as well. I hope if someone does buy this, it's not... I hope it's Caesars. I hope Caesars has the money and they can come through and they can purchase this because people trust, they trust Caesars. And the reason why, it's not just that obviously they had a horrible quarter. I think they're down 82%, but they don't think that convention business is coming back to Las Vegas. And that's scary. And it's just well, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about that. Listen, uh, this guy's worth thirty seven point okay. five billion dollars. So if we're he does, involved. He's he's been extremely successful as a businessman, particularly in Las Vegas and, and in the in the the gaming industry. If he doesn't think it's going to come back, it's probably not going to come back, Brian. So we are involved right now in a global pandemic. Uh, the strip is going to come back. This will always be the biggest tourist destination or one of the biggest tourist destinations in the world. Uh, I believe Sheldon probably just wants out of Vegas. He makes all of his money elsewhere. Um, and uh, the Venetian and some of his other properties have not done extremely well, particularly of recent. He's obviously a very smart businessman. He's still going to own the Review Journal. Uh, I just think he wants to take his casino properties and his ownership elsewhere, and that's fine. But with that being said, um, I think what he's trying to sell it for right now, which I believe is six billion, yeah, I'm, six billion, yeah, uh, is a bit much. I think that's a that's a little over by about probably one or two billion. But he will get a buyer. Somebody's going to come forward. I don't know who it'll be. The Fertitas don't. I don't know if they'll have, they have that kind of money. No, they don't. But uh, but somebody's going to buy it. It'll take a little bit of time, but I don't think he's going to sell it now. I think he's going to sell it probably after the pandemic. But we'll we'll wait and see what happens. Getting back to the circa, are you two fools uh, going to the uh, v- the v- exclusive VIP party tonight? Yeah, the black tie. Yeah, and we have to. We, I have to. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. I have to find a, a bow tie. Yeah. I don't so, a bow tie. so before you before you walked in this morning. Uh, Brian was wringing his hands because he learned that black tie means tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, and, actually, yeah. I don't think that's true yeah. because on the email it says black tie required. It didn't say that you needed. It doesn't say tux required. It says okay, black. No, okay. but black tie, like a black tie affair, is synonymous it with says, tuxedos, right? It says yeah. on the invite black tie required. So I'm just going to wear a nice dress shirt with a black tie. Is that wrong? I think I'm going to Coles. This after, is going to be after, good after this show. I think I have to go to Coles. You know, and see what you, I can you two, you two are going to walk in there like I do. Have like some, I have some premium shoes though. I have some really like, nice shoes. Like, <laughs> you two are going to walk in there like, like Lloyd and Harry like from Dumb, Dumb, Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. Yeah, exactly. exactly. With your I, with I'm, your fresh bowl bowl cut hair. I'm excited for <laughs> it. And uh, I might shave my head just to be just like him. I'm considering it. Well, I mean, that I, would be good. As 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 we're on the air right now, I'm inviting a female friend because oh, I was I was told I am allowed to bring a guest. They should oh, be wearing are. a tuxedo yeah. as well. But they want her name, and I can't get I can't give the name yet because I'm asking several women, and whoever whoever says yes first can go with me. So that's so you're gonna give us a so you two are Brian gonna go is throwing darts. Wait, you're gonna go. It's safe to say you're neither of you are gonna be wearing tuxedos, but you're gonna dress nice. Yes, and then you're going to give a full recap on tomorrow's show. Yep. Absolutely, yep. I'm, I'm okay. going to have I'm, I'm going to have nice black shoes, nice black pants, black belt. Uh, I'm going to figure out a white undershirt situation. I'm going to yeah. get a hold of a bow tie, and then I'll, I, I do have. You are going to go bow tie. I, I, you have to. And I'm not going to go no, tie. I'm, I'm going to go bow tie. It says I'm, black I'm, tie yeah, required. Well, I'm, I'm going bow tie. Okay, I'm not going tie. Brian thinks that means any old tie that's no, the color I, black. If you, if you look up black tie event on Google, if you you Google it, go to the images. Ninety five percent of the pictures. The guys have bow ties. Yeah, it's tuxedo. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Now, I'm, I'm Even John tra- Schaefer, we, yeah. I brought him in here yeah. as a consultant. Uh, I knew he'd know because he's a fancy man. Oh, he is a very fancy. And, man. And uh, he immediately said, "No, it black tie that that means yeah. tux. Yeah, that's I'll like some award show stuff, you guys. And, but, but I think we're going to see a lot of radio guys there that probably don't have tuxes. And if that's the case, then you know I, I will do my best to recreate a tux. So without actually, but if anyone a has a tuxedo in the audience that they can lend to Brian. Um, right, You're, you'd be open I mean, to that. How's, Would you your, wear a, how's your quest on Facebook going, Brian? 
I'm not going to get a tux. It says black tie required. I'm going to wear a white shirt and a black tie with black pants. What's wrong with that? Okay. And a black sports coat. I don't know if I have black. I think I have gray. Will that work? Oh God! I hope oh, that God. Mr. Stevens doesn't. You will be. You will be. The only throw you both one, out on your you ear. You will be the only one there with a gray sports coat. But that's that's totally <laughs> that, that's you. You should do that and wear brown shoes. That would be awesome. I'm, I'm not going to wear brown shoes. Who are you bringing as a guest? I'm bringing myself. Nobody. I'm not oh, bringing okay. anybody this. <laughs> well, I'm picking up my friend Tiffany at 6 p.m. tonight. So I'm just letting you know. Okay. Does that mean I need to pick you up as well? No. Uh, no, I'm picking you up, aren't I? Well, we have to pick, we have to uh, pick up my friend Tiffany. So uh, she lives she lives near well, the Palms. That's fine. So the, the Palms <laughs> is next. No, it's not. Yeah, it's just down Flamingo. It's not too far. So you, I think maybe I should drive. You guys know you're on the radio right now, right? <laughs> yeah, we are. On the radio. We still well, have one hey, minute left hey, in the what, show. What, what, I think, I think whatever, maybe I should drive. Whatever, whatever you want. Well, to should do, we talk about where we're going for lunch? Whatever you want to do, I'm a different to it. I, I, well, I, Stein I, is really I, cheap, I would, so he won't spend more than ten dollars. Let's go to that, let's go to that yeah. place. Let's go to that place you know, called this guy, uh, Norms. This guy, Norms. That place was this good. This guy goes to Jackson's last night and he gets another comped meal. He goes to Jackson's. Thank you, by the way, Brian at Jackson's. Brian over at Jackson's. Very nice. He works the system. I didn't work anything, man. He works the system. Meanwhile, C. Win got got some free wings and he spent like 800 hours and he lost <laughs> it on a slot machine. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And hence the free food. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how he just does that. So you think I should really rent a tux? What a pain in the ass. No, I just think that you should recreate a tux and make it look I very have, similar to a tux. I don't have. I'll just go, go home to, and look. Just go to Kohl's or go to the go to the fashion show mall. And then I, return I, it? I and then like, return it tomorrow? Yeah, exactly. I've been there in like six months. Should I do that? Eight months. Yeah. Should I buy that stuff and then return it? Yeah. Is that allowed? You, you have done it before. Remember when I, I we were in Seattle? Tell, tell, tell me, go. tell me go. you have not go. done that before. We, 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 we got to go. You've done that at least five times. He got the tag on it all night.